Hello magical friends, my name's Hannah and Happy New Year 2024. So 2023 was a pretty good year for me but I didn't actually get much done that was on my bucket list. I did have a really great time. I went to Disneyland Paris for the 30th celebration. I bought lots of Lego and built lots of magical Lego. I did not actually do much Harry Potter re-stuff even though that was on one of my bucket lists but that's okay you know i still had a really great year but i have still made a 2024 sort of goal list for magical things and i just thought i would share that for my first video of the new year so number one on my magical bucket list for 2024 is to plan my next Disney trip. Now I'm not saying to go on a Disney trip but I would like to plan a Disney trip. So I have been lucky enough to go to Disneyland Paris three times and I would definitely love to branch out and start looking at the other Disney parks around the world. Beijing uh, is definitely on my list for Harry Potter and Tokyo obviously for Disneyland so Japan is a really big one that is definitely on my bucket list. But I'd also love to go to California or Orlando or even do a Disney cruise. So whatever form my next Disney trip takes place in, I want to try and nail down some details and how much I need to be saving for that trip this year. I think a cruise might be our next one um, because my partner really wants to do a cruise as well. And I think combining Disney with able to see different places around the world is something that really appeals to me. Um, I am actually terrified of cruises but i would love to get over that fear so disney might be a way to do it <laughs> number two on my bucket list is to have more disney film nights so disney film nights was something that we did last year in the run-up to our disney trip for six weeks prior to our trip every weekend we had a whole afternoon where we did fun activities related to the disney film that we were about to watch we ate food and made drinks related to that film and then we watched the disney film and i definitely want to do that this year it's been one of my fondest memories of 2023 so i'm going to be doing some more sort of disney i had like these full like menus <laughs> where we had some sort of activity that me and my partner did together we had a couple of food items and some drink items and i really want to bring that back and do more Disney films because it was such a highlight and it was so much fun and you know it was also really good to have that quality time with my partner there's a ton on the internet if you are interested in doing it or you could make your own which is exactly what I did we've also got now loads of artwork on display <laughs> some of it is a little bit rubbish but we've got some artwork on display so for example when we watched Tangled um, I bought some canvases and just some cheap acrylic paint and we painted the sun motif that features in the film when we did Beauty and the Beast we did like fake stained glass painting of the road um it was just really really fun and i definitely want to do that again in 2024 number three on my magical bucket list is very specific and it is to buy the new stitch lego i'll pop a picture here it's coming out on march the first and i absolutely adore it i am definitely getting this lego set there's a couple of other lego sets that came out last year that i still have my eye on so the disney 100 camera i would really like to get hold of um and just a couple other sets number four is to plan a harry potter filming locations trip these took instagram by storm this year i've watched so many i've saved so many videos and now i want to plan my own and whether or not i'll actually get to do that trip this year it doesn't matter too much to me um because when i've got it planned and i know how much it's going to cost how much i need to budget when i need to book tickets when i need to like book all my accommodation and travel and everything then i can just go ahead and book it when we are in a situation where we can do that but planning it it gives me so much excitement so i definitely want to plan a harry potter filming location trip number five is to post more content on instagram so when i was planning this bucket list i just had a quick scroll through of my instagram and there's a lot of things like repeated images repeated videos also just a lot of time where i didn't post at all and whilst i love consuming other content i think i've really missed creating my own because it forces me to be creative and that's something that i definitely missed in 2023 number six is to sort out my collection now i'm filming with a blank wall behind me 
bit of fuzz filming with my collection it's a real hodgepodge and a bit of a mess to be honest and there's a lot of things like on my harry potter shelves that i can't actually see because it's blocked by other things and i'm sort of thinking like do i actually need all of that i really want to streamline and only keep the things that i really want and get rid of the things that don't bring me as much joy i also want to do the same with my lego i really got into lego in 2023 and i bought a lot of lego and now i'm looking at it and thinking hmm, do i actually want to build that do i want that on my shelves or could i let that go and then get something that i really want in place of it so that's something that i want to do and that's going to be a long process through this year i'll probably do a little bit here and there when i have time but that's something that i'm going to keep in the back of my mind for the year and the last one on my magical bucket list is sort of leading on from that one but it's to build more of my lego collection i have got a lot of sets that i've not built and i've also got a lot of sets that i've built and cannot display so aside from like sorting out my collection that's then going to move into like loving what i've already got and building the lego that i've already got i've got boxes that are literally just gathering dust because i've sort of packed them i've bought them packed them away and i haven't built them and i know i'm not the only person guilty of this but it sort of it almost like embarrasses me that i've got all of this lego that i've not built and i cannot enjoy so that's definitely something that i want to do in 2024 so those are my 2024 magical goals for Harry Potter, Disney and Lego for this year. Please do let me know in the comments below what are your goals for 2024, whether they are magical or not. I've got some personal goals that I am keeping private and I've also got some reading goals, um, which you can check out my reading YouTube channel if you want to. I'll try and remember to link it in the description below. Um, but yeah, that is my 2024. I'm hoping to do lots of exciting things this year. So please do subscribe to this channel if you want to see some videos of all the adventures that I get up to. I hope you have a magical rest of your day and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!